Lord, you know how hard it is Dealing with the pain day to day of a white man She can never be what I am But as long as he with me, that's what it's gonna be shells welcome or welcome back to the channel if you are new here i am shelly your new favorite youtuber and if you have already been here as always thank you guys so much for all of your love and support on my channel and again welcome back in today's video we are going to be recreating a look that has been making its rounds on social media kylie jenner posted it promoting a few of her new makeup products and when i saw the look i immediately fell in love with it because it is the blushed look as you guys can see i packed on the blush today but i had no issue with that because i am a blush girl i love how girly it is i love the flushed look it's so simple yet pretty it's like a timeless look i love the way that it accentuates my cheekbones and lifts my face and makes me look more girly and more flirty and just very feminine anyway I don't want to do too much rambling but before we get into the video do not forget to like this video subscribe to my channel and leave me some comments down in the comments section below as you are watching letting me know your thoughts on the video and without further ado let's go ahead and get into the look I saw this look that Kylie Jenner posted and since I am a blush girl it was only right that I recreate this look. I'll insert a picture of the look on the screen. I'm not gonna use any primer today because I really want this look to be very skin-like and sort of dewy but not overly dewy. Skin prep is already done so I'm just gonna go in with the Rare Beauty Positive Light Tinted Moisturizer and since I am going for a very minimum coverage I'm just going to apply that on my face and I already did a video or a review on this tinted moisturizer so I will link that video for anyone who has not already seen it and because like I said I do want like coverage I'm gonna go in with this body sponge and blend that out I'm gonna use the NYX Cosmetics Bear With Me Concealer Serum to sort of conceal under my eyes and add a little bit of highlight under my eyes as well. I don't know if I said it already, but in the tinted moisturizer, I am in the shade 46C and in the Bear With Me Concealer, I'm using the shade Sand. And I'm blending this out using the Sephora 71 Pro Concealer Brush. I'm gonna put a little bit of that concealer down the bridge of my nose and place some in the middle of my forehead, just a little bit. I don't wanna do too much highlighting on my forehead. The highlighting accentuates and makes it larger. I don't need any more forehead space. So I'm just gonna add a little bit to brighten up. And then I added a little bit on my chin. I know that whenever I do skin-like looks, a lot of you tell me that you have acne scars and you're not really secure with just doing skin-like minimal coverage looks. Here is a tip for those of you who struggle. I'm someone who used to struggle really bad with acne, hyperpigmentation, really bad hyperpigmentation around my mouth area, as well as acne scars. So my recommendation is to spot correct. Doing that will help 
to minimize the appearance of scarring and things like that on your face. So spot correct with your favorite concealer that matches your skin complexion and then you can go back in or go on top of it with minimal product or whatever once you cover up the discoloration, hyperpigmentation, or scarring. I get a lot of compliments on my skin and I'm still very self-conscious about it because I used to have the absolute worst breakouts, hyperpigmentation, and etc. It took for me to change my eating habits, change things that I was consuming before my skin actually started to agree with me, as well as wearing sunscreen. I do not leave my house without it. <laughs> Moving on to a product that I've been using on a consistent basis, and I told you guys in a previous vlog that I would tell you about it, is the Makeup by Mario. This is his Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer. I use the shade Dark. So what I like to do is sort of place it, and I like to use it with a brush, because I have a little more control. The way that it applies, I don't know if you can really see, I hope the camera really picks up on it. The way that it applies, you guys, it really, really, really gives a glass-like finish. I just take and I blend it into my hairline, blend it around my forehead, and as you can see, it has this very glass-like look. It's not overly dewy. This is really what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to add the glass-like effect to your face, and I feel like this really, really does that. And it doesn't offer too much coverage. It really just gives you that nice bronzy summer time bronze glow. Just look at that. Like, look at the difference. This side and this side. Kylie Jenner, I don't know if she really had any bronzer, but I've been loving the overly bronzy plus blush look. And if you're wondering, I'm using the Real Techniques contour brush to apply it. Now that we have warmed up the face, we're gonna move on to the star of the show, which is blush. I wanna give a special thank you and shout out to She Glam for sponsoring this portion of the video. I have seen these blushes all over social media. If you have not seen these blushes, come from under the rock that you're living under. Everyone is using them, everyone's hyping them up, everyone's been talking about them. So I was super excited when they reached out to work with me on this. I am going to swatch every shade for you guys so that you can see what they look like on my skin tone. This is the shade Love Cake, and you're supposed to shake it up before using. And I'm just gonna. Oh, I love this color. So, so pretty. That's a very pretty pink color. I'm gonna leave that one to the side because I think I'm gonna apply that one today. So, here are all the shades. This one is Love Cake. This one is Float On. This one is Swipe Right. Rose Ritual. Devoted. Hush Hush. Risky Business. And Birthday Soup. I like the fact that there's a shade for every skin tone. I think that that's important. Inclusivity is a big deal to me and it truly matters, especially in the makeup world. So I am going to go ahead and apply Rose Ritual. And I'll show you guys the way that I like to apply blush. So you shake it up first before applying it. I love the fact that there is a sponge applicator. I feel like that'll make it so much easier to apply. So what I like to do when applying my blush is apply it here. And applying it here helps to give your face a more lifted, youthful look. So I'm also going to apply it here. And I'm starting with two dots just because I am very heavy handed when applying products. So I just wanna start small because it's much easier to add more than it is to take away. And then I'm also going to apply to my nose because I do like the flushed look. I am using the She Glam blush brush to blend it out. And I love this brush because it has like a cute little paw print. And then I'm just gonna blend. And when I'm blending, oh my God, that color is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And when I'm blending my blush, I like to blend up into, almost up into the under eye area. 
That is stunning. This is the top trending blush right now. It is a nourishing gel cream formula. It's lightweight formula. It's smooth, buildable, and blendable. It effortlessly melts into the skin for an inside out glow. It does have a built-in sponge brush for precise and easy application, which makes it easier to control the product usage and applies seamlessly to the skin. Going back to the look that Kylie Jenner posted, she had a lot of blush on and I'm not mad at it. So I'm gonna do the same thing. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit more so we can see how buildable the blush is. She had it blended up around her hairline, so that's what I'm gonna do. I love the consistency of the blush. I love how it blends so nicely into the skin. Oh my God, that's gorgeous. Blend up into my hairline. Now she also has a little bit on her lid, so I'm gonna go on my lid as well. I'm gonna dab, and I'm gonna blend that all over my lid. It appears to be very light on her lid, so I'm just gonna. I am gonna add gloss to my lid. I'm using the Cyber Clear Eye Gloss by Pat McGrath and it has this very pretty iridescent finish. I'm gonna just take and apply that on top. Brows are done, so now I can set my face. I'm gonna use the one size powder. I've been loving this powder. I love the way that it sets and I love that it lasts all day long. And I'm just gonna use this little powder puff. And set under my eyes. Kylie's brows are brushed up. She has them set with like a brow gel. So I'm just using the e.l.f. brow lift to set my brows in place. Seems like she's wearing the same shade on her lips as her blush. So I'm gonna take this blush and apply it to my lips. And then she does have a gloss on her lips. I'm just gonna use this gloss by Chanel. It's in the shade 804. And it is pink. I'm just gonna apply it on top. Now to set my face and bring back the glow, I'm gonna use the Laneige Cream Skin Mist. So that does bring us to the end of the video. This is the final look. I love the way that the look turned out because it is super flirty, super girly. It's bringing all the summer vibes. This look really speaks to who I am these days. Just very free, very light and girly. So thank you again to She Glam for partnering with me in today's video. I'll have all the details about the products that I used as well as all of the Color Bloom liquid blushes down in the description box below so be sure to check that out. I want to thank all of you guys so much for all of your love and support on my channel and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye!